a physical action toward a solid intent shifts us quickly into a different, more resonant timeline by Nelia Benz. We work on ourselves, find empowerment tools and shift our awareness because we want change. We want change to our personal lives, our perceptions and lifestyle, and we want to see a larger, global change in our species. For that change to happen, there are various factors we can work on. 1. There's the original intent, what we want to see. 2. Then there's a period of processing our fears, belief blocks and disbelief at the possibility of the change. This may include any judgments we have about the current situation too. 3. After that, we release the attachment to ways in which to get the result we want to see, as well as limitations of the result, opening ourselves to that or better type energy. 4. We now process blocks that come up in real life that seem impossible to overcome. 5. That's when we make the decision that, yes, this is going to happen. And more than a decision, we are now living in an energy of knowing. 6. We then feel the new reality as existing now. We sense it with our physical and emotional bodies as being real. Not something wanted or something needed or something we're going to achieve at some point in the future, but as an actual reality now. 7. And now we take action in the physical world. Let's create a real-life type of experience example. Say a person, let's call her Sam, wants to get a new job, but has huge financial and emotional ties with her present work structure. 1. Sam realizes she wants a new job and move on with her life independently of her present workplace. This is the original intent, a new job. 2. She is afraid to lose something secure and then a new job not working out. She is also afraid of whether she can manage financially to support herself and her children and pay her husband alimony. The job market is so bad right now that she feels at her age she will never get a new position somewhere. She is also afraid to lose the friendship she has with her co-workers and supervisors. They take turns hosting barbecues every two weeks and she's also heavily involved in her golf league. And the job is not horrible. Some days she actually enjoys it. Her fears are loss of security, income, being too old for the job market, loss of friends and social activities. She judges the present job as being good enough and perhaps it's not such a good idea to make the change. She sits down and uses the fear processing exercise to dissolve her fears and the firewall exercise to process her judgments and make do energy. She now decides she will go ahead and start looking for possible positions. 3. She strongly feels that she must get a new job where she can use her creative art skills more within 20 miles of her home and that pays 90k per year. Although a good starting point, she makes sure to add or better to her list, as well as releasing the attachment to location. 4. As soon as she has moved to a point where getting a new job is something she really wants to do, her supervisor retires and she is asked to take over as a department supervisor. Her work hours and administrative duties increase. Her house is found to have termite and she is now forced to take out a hefty loan for the treatment and repairs involved. She sits down after her daily meditation and scans the energies that have manifested the physical blocks. Are there ways in which her environment are reflecting that she should not move jobs right now? Or are there fears or social beliefs she did not get to the bottom of? Or is it a push 
from our higher self to radically change her life now. She decides it's a mixture of fear and a push from her higher self to get out now. She processes her fears and emotional reactions to her new workload and financial burden. 5. She now knows that she's getting a new job and that it's going to be an absolute improvement to where she's at right now. The energy of knowing as opposed to wanting or wishing or needing a new reality is radically different. For example, we know what color our hair is and we wish, want, need to go on holidays more often. 6. Now when she goes into work, she totally feels her new experience. The satisfaction, the use of her creative, artistic sight, the shorter hours, the larger paycheck are not longer wishful thinking, they are real. She feels secure, appreciated, satisfied, happy and complete. People compliment her smile all the time now and feel her self-confidence and she's wearing much nicer clothes. When we make the shift, it happens in the present. It happens where we are. Soon after that, our environment starts reflecting our new reality. 7. This is when she writes down an honest, heartfelt resume that truly reflects her personality and interests, physical action. She checks it for resonance, makes sure there's no fear, neediness or attachment energies on it, and clicks the send button to several companies around the world. Then she gets afraid that she will be rejected, her true self be discarded and thrown in the trash. She processes those fears and realizes that there's absolutely no attachment to any results or any job. She's happy, content and satisfied. She knows her perfect job exists. It's just a matter of vibrationally matching its timeline. Program-free physical action is very important. And when we do it, often fears or misgivings pop up. That's when we process those fears and misgivings in earnest. This example could be translated into many life situations. Moving house, getting a love partner, leaving a love partner, changing one's physical appearance, starting a new hobby, reaching enlightenment, you name it. I have discussed and expanded on this topic in this recording, moving into resonant timelines, upgrading relationships.